Cek 1, 2, 3 Hai, hello guys, what's up? Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera semuanya Apa kabar ya teman-teman saudara sahabat di luar sana Semoga selalu dalam keadaan baik dan semoga selalu dilimpahkan rezekinya Amin, amin, ya robbal alamin Oke okay, guys, apa kabar hujung minggu kalian semua Semoga selalu happy ya, selalu berbahagia guys ya Oke, okay, kali ini kita akan reaction salah satu DM yang masuk Sebab ini membuat Gimana guys ya Ini tentang Islam gitu ya Tentang dokter Zakir Naik guys Siapa yang tak kenal beliau ya Jadi kita akan sama-sama tengok videonya seperti apa eh, Pengulasannya tentang Malaysia ini seperti apa Menuru, Menurut beliau ya dokter Zakir Naik guys Sebab ini adalah salah satu tokoh ulama ya Yang boleh dikatakan dia sudah ini guys ya eh, Mengislamkan gitu ya banyak sekali orang yang untuk debat dengan beliau ini pasti susah guys untuk dikalahkan Sebab IQ ataupun kehebatan beliau ini sangat luar biasa ya Jadi tak apa kita akan sama-sama tengok videonya seperti apa guys Alright ini channel daripada lemak 40 guys Kejap ya Kejap guys Nah ini channel daripada lemak 40 Subscribe dulu dong pastinya ya Link ada di description jika kurang pengen nonton videonya langsung guys Dr. Zakir Naik Price Malaysia Malaysub guys Jadi subtitlenya juga ada Jadi sama-sama kita akan saksikan videonya seperti apa guys Jom bismillahirrahmanirrahim And play Imagine men our Muslim brothers are dying They are being killed, they are being tortured In China At least in Palestine They can pray openly in Palestine, they can fight openly. They can do jihad openly. They can fast. In China, these Shingen Muslim, most of them aren't allowed to pray. Oh, sedih banget kalau kayak gitu. They aren't allowed to fast. They are forced to drink alcohol in Ramadan. Oh. If you object, they put you in concentration camp called as re-education camps. What are we doing? Wah, ngeri. There's so much of evidence available. Some countries say we, Muslim countries say we don't have evidence. So what we realize that we Muslims, we haven't understood the real value, which is gold. Okay. If we follow the Quran and the seerah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yeah, we will be in a much together. better position The happiness that we we'll get in our life Which we discussed yesterday It's tremendous The problem is we don't read the Quran We don't understand the Quran We don't read the Hadith We don't implement on it Happiness doesn't come by wealth Happiness doesn't come by position Happiness doesn't come by power Happiness doesn't come by gold It comes as a satisfaction in your heart In remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we are in a very pathetic situation and history is repeating itself. Now they're doing it in India. When they could do it in oh, Palestine, in Malaysia, yeah. what are the Muslims doing? They're in China, what are the Muslims doing? So what do we expect the Muslims to do when they're doing it in India? I can talk. I'm talking. I knew that I talked in India and high chances I'll be thrown out. Okay. At least I stayed for 25 years. I thought we'd be much more earlier. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. We are doing it for our Jannah Akhirah. Why aren't the Muslims united on this issue? I'm talking about the Islamic issue. I'm not a politician. I don't do involved in the politics. Okay. But we Muslims should unite. And Alhamdulillah, one of the reasons that according to me, amongst the Muslim countries in the world, one of the best countries available in the world is Malaysia. Oh. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may Malaysia continue being the best Terbaik, for Malaysia, fighting for the Palestinian rights, fighting for the Rohingya rights. We hope it continues. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give the Malaysian the guts and the power. It's a small country, no problem. But if you have the power of Allah, it becomes the most powerful country. 
But if you want Allah on your side, then you'll become the powerful country. If you don't want Allah on your side, you won't become powerful. So to make it the most powerful country, who do you require? Allah on your side. So if you follow the commandment of Allah and follow the commandment of beloved Prophet in the Hadith, you'll become the most powerful country. Wow, strong. But if you have faith in Allah, I chose to live in Malaysia because amongst Ooh. the various, I had offers from about 15 countries. I feel Malaysia amongst, you could say, best of the worst or best available, whatever you want to say, amongst the Muslim countries, we have 56 majority Muslim countries. I chose that it is good, it's away from the war zone. Yeah, so never it's never. not like you see Gulf countries, Yemen, Syria, war zone. Number two, it doesn't have so much of pressure from the Western countries, like the other Muslim countries. Number three, it's a country which has the most powerful Muslim passport. Ooh, One in the countries you can travel without visa. I don't know if all of you, some may be knowing, all may not be keeping track of it. You go to the Henley passport, 180 countries without visa. visa. It's an advanced country. It's a country where the federal religion is Islam. Yes. You yeah. have about two-thirds Muslims living. It's good. So we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may the Muslims of Malaysia be united. Be if united. you are united, yes. you are a stronger force. If you are divided, you'll become weak. Bener, bener, so my bener. only advice or suggestion to Muslims all over the world, including Muslims of Malaysia, for Allah's sake, let your differences aside, and for the cause of Islam, we should unite. Dinya and this has bener. been my message always for all the Muslims. If we are united, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah mm, Imran, yeah. chapter number 3, verse number 103, mm. bi habli lai wala Hold strongly to the rope of Allah and be not divided. Mm. So if you unite, the best criteria where we can unite is on the basis of Quran. Mm. In that case. Whatever the Quran says, at least that is the common factor of Muslims throughout the world, whether you live in West, East, Arab country, non-Arab country, this is the uniting factor. And inshallah, if we, if we have this uniting factor, there will not be situation like Palestine or China or India 370, what happened in mm -hmm. Afghanistan, what happened in Iraq. And I was happy in Iraq, I was happy that mashallah, there was, like we have the International Court of Law in Hague, a similar one, was started in Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur war crimes, KLWC. And in, I think in the year 2011, if I'm not mistaken, it was started by Sun Dr. Mate. And they had the guts and alhamdulillah the courage that they had a tribunal of five judges that lawyers from different parts of the world mm -hmm. and they put to trial the previous president of USA, George Bush, and the previous president of UK, Tony Blair. And Alhamdulillah, I really admired the guts. No Muslim country had the guts, but Malaysia had the guts. <laughs> In the war crime tribunal, they laid and they said the people responsible for fabricating evidence is the former president of USA, George Bush and Tony Blair. If they set foot in Malaysia, we will arrest them. Who is Brani Vettule? Malaysia, small country, mm, had the guts country. to and challenge the superpower <laughs> hey, but... with the help of Allah. <coughs> and they did it. Later on, five years later, 2016, in UK, the Chircot report. They say that America and UK fabricated evidence mm. to show that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction to attack Iraq. Oh. So what does Tony Blair come and say? It is, I am very sorry. I regret, the most act I regret ever in my life is this act. That's it. Sorry. You know, more than a million people died. Oh, thousands of people in the war. And because of the sanction, millions of children died and adults died because of sanctions. Only sorry. Mm -mm, no. At least Malaysia, they had the KLWC. 
Kolampur war crime. Alhamdulillah. I wish such more tribunals are set up here. And if they can object same way with China, if they can object same thing with India, and all the... We cannot... I'm not telling you do violently. Okay, at least have such... You have the KLWC. Okay, there you can do it. I mean, my suggestion. At least you can say one Muslim country in the world, the non-Muslim 22 countries, maybe some may be having benefit or some agenda, whatever it is. At least they stood for the truth. Similarly, what's happening in India? In India, we Muslims are minority, according to government, 14.5%. Muslims say we are about 20-25% but if we agree with 14.5% also the here the non-Muslims the Hindus are 6.3% 6.4% the Hindus in Malaysia get more than 100 times more rights than the Muslims in India good Alhamdulillah I'm not saying take away their rights good this is what Muslims should do Bindar, bindar. They are half the percentage, numbers wise very less, half the percentage of India where Muslims are. <clears throat> Yet the rights they get here is 100 times more than what India gives rights to minority. So much so that they support the Prime Minister of India but not Prime Minister of Malaysia. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. The Prime Minister of India wants me. The Prime Minister of Malaysia does not want injustice to be done to me. The Hindu Malaysians are most of them supporting Prime Minister of India. <laughs> there is no evidence about me in the Malaysian police. Interpol says no evidence. They are believing more in India. They are more Indians than the Malaysians themselves. And yet they are enjoying, Alhamdulillah. At least the Muslims should get their rights. <laughs> And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he give more hikmah, more courage to Malaysia to voice out for the rights of the Muslims throughout the world. Hope that answers the question. Okay guys, itu saja video daripada Dr. Zakir Naik. Ini waktu berada di Malaysia guys ya. Ya, inilah Malaysia gitu ya guys. Dengan kekuatan pasportnya yang sangat luar biasa dan uh, walaupun berbagai kaum itu harmoni gitu ya. Orang Hindu juga diutamakan, orang Cina juga diutamakan, tapi beda banget dengan negara-negara luar ya. Dan Dokter Zakir Naik aja itu merasa kagum, walaupun negara kecil, tapi perpaduannya sangat luar biasa, harmoni. Dan beliau ditawari 55 negara, beliau memilih hanya tinggal, pengen tinggal di Malaysia, guys. Gila, respect luar biasa kan ya. Berarti memang uh, Malaysia ini di mata Dokter Zakir Naik itu a country yang begitu sempurna gitu loh ya. Walaupun kecil tapi harmoninya itu luar biasa, guys. Ya sebab kita hidup ini memang berpedoman Al-Qur'an dan hadis ya. Jadi kita tidak boleh untuk membenci sesama umat gitu, guys ya. Dan kalau di Timur Tengah kalian tahu sendiri kan gejolaknya itu luar biasa di sana ya. Dan di Cina juga kayak gitu, ngeri banget. Jadi kasihan para muslim-muslim yang berada di sana, guys ya. Sebab dia minority guys Jadi lebih baik itu ya Alhamdulillah gitu loh Kita duduk di Indonesia juga nyaman ya Damai gini ya Walaupun ada sedikit kontroversi tentang politik gitu ya Sebenarnya ini kalau tanpa politik guys Negara ini akan aman Sebab itulah sifat manusia guys Dia ingin menguasai Dan ingin menjadi pemimpin Dan akhirnya menjadi politik Dan politik ini bisa memperpecahkan Antara saudara gitu ya kita sama anak kita, kita sama bapak kita, kita sama saudara aja itu bisa berpisah gara-gara politik gitu guys ya. Jadi harusnya ini berpolitik dengan e, bertamadun lah ya, dengan mesra rakyat tuh dikatakan ya, tidak usah bermusuhan. Tapi ya itulah Malaysia guys, banyak sekali orang yang pengen banget tinggal di sana ya, sebab kalau kita lihat e, e, negaranya ini kecil. Tapi dengan segi ekonomi yang cukup bagus, cukup kukuh, cukup kuat dan keharmoniannya itu guys luar biasa. 
kita bisa jumpai berbagai kaum di sana kan itu yang membuat kita respect dan pasportnya Malaysia ini termasuk pasport yang hebat di dunia luar biasa nggak ya jadi keren banget guys jadi kalian harus bertuah merasa bangga kan duduk di bumi bumi bertuah yaitu bumi Malaysia guys wow luar biasa Oke okay guys mungkin sekian dulu ya untuk perkongsian kali ini Jadi jangan sia-siakan guys Hidup di Malaysia itu enak banget Hidup di Malaysia itu harmoni banget Nyaman banget mencari nafkah dengan senang Dengan bahagia Dengan pendapatan yang cukup tinggi Jadi respect terbaik ke orang semua guys Jadi mungkin sekian dulu ya guys Untuk video kali ini See you in the next video guys Terima kasih yang sudah klik video ini dan menonton sampai habis Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Bye bye